Good morning, everyone. Dennis K here. It is Tuesday, March 17th. Just thought I'd uh, shoot a little update to all of our friends and family and loved ones out there. So uh, I'm taking one last long stroll this morning, uh, making a loop around the entire island of downtown Strasbourg. This might be my last one for a while. Uh, the French government issued a statement last night uh, saying that as of noon today, uh, they want people to leave their homes as little as possible. Uh, starting at noon today, we need to carry around uh, this piece of paper uh, called an attestation. Basically, uh, we have to sign it, date it, and explain why we have left the house. Now, so that could be to uh, get necessities like groceries or medicine, things like that. Of course, the wine stores are staying open. Uh, that's important. Uh, could be going to the doctor. Uh, could be to uh, go out for some light exercise close to the house. So it looks like for the next 15 days at least, I'll be able to leave the home, but just for brief periods close to the house, uh, which is okay because we live right uh, along a canal. It's very private and not very many people walk there. And I'll be able to walk up and down there a little bit and uh, clear my mind and, and get some exercise in. Uh, so yeah, so things are going to change here a lot for the next 15 days. It's a good thing. You know, uh, uh, anything we can do to help stop or prevent the rapid spread of this virus is good. Uh, what's a little concerning uh, to me, actually, is looking at the numbers that are still going on in Italy. Italy has implemented some very strict rules as far as leaving the house, and yet their numbers are, are continuing to grow, uh, sometimes quite rapidly. So hopefully this is not the case in France. Hopefully these new measures uh, actually see... Uh, uh, some uh, some good effects here in the next few days. You know, all this got me thinking about the uh, the need to uh, to be prepared for things like this. And I know we can't prepare ourselves against everything that might come our way in life, but we do know uh, most of the big things uh, that can be challenging or that can have a devastating effect on our life, and we can't prepare for those. Uh, it was reminded it reminded me that uh, one time in Florida about uh, oh, I think at least. Eight nine years ago now, I was doing some volunteer work with a uh, with a lady, older woman, and uh, she had recently become widowed. And I expressed my condolences over, over her losing her husband. And then she said something I'll never forget. She said, "You know, Dennis, he left me in a good place." In those words, he left me in a good place, uh, really hit home to me. Now, I didn't ask any more questions about what she meant by that, but you could see that she was well cared for, she was content, and whatever steps that husband took, uh, either financially or whatever, uh, to help his wife after he had passed, uh, that really meant a lot. Uh, now, I don't know if he died quickly, or suddenly, unexpectedly, so he had already had set, up, uh, set things up in place or uh, if he knew he was dying, so he had a few weeks or months to do so. But whatever it was, uh, he loved his wife enough, he loved his family enough uh, to make provisions for them in case something had happened to them. And after he was gone, his love was, was still there because she said he left me in a good place and she felt good about that. So I started thinking about that myself. This is way back then. I said, you know, I love my wife and she knows that, but if something that happened to me can I show her that kind of love even when I'm not around? So I took steps then to uh, take, a better, uh, take better control of our finances, make sure we had enough uh, insurances, life insurance, health insurance, uh, things like that, uh, so that uh, if anything did happen, uh, we weren't completely uh, devastated, uh, but we had a means to survive. Uh, what I also realized too is that with Steph and I living in Belize and in France, in different parts of the world and, and traveling as much as we do, that uh, although I had a handle on our affairs, uh, no one else did. And so, uh, for instance, uh, our bank accounts, our life insurance policies, uh, the investment properties that we own, uh, no one knows that kind of stuff but me, not even my family. And so, uh, you know, what, what an extra stress and burden that would put on them if something were to happen to both Steph and I uh, to try to weed through all that. So what we did is we created a document that we update once a quarter and uh, we send that document uh, to my brother and my father. And so just in, the, in case something were to ever happen, 
uh, it's going to be difficult enough for family and loved ones to deal with a, with your with a, someone's passing. But now at least that uh, the paperwork aspect of it doesn't become even more of a burden. So it's a way to show love. I guess where am I going with all this? I guess times like this just make you think. You know, there's a proverb that says, the wise man sees the calamity coming and he protects himself. He steps out of the way. Uh, he conceals himself. And this is true not only for himself, because he doesn't want to suffer consequences, but it's also an act of love for his family and for his friends. And so right now, uh, it's an act of love to stay inside or to isolate yourself. You know, I'm outside now, uh, but as you can see, there's no one around me. I'm completely alone. Uh, when I go into the grocery stores, I, I stay well away from people. Um, I'm doing this out of love for myself, for my family, for my brothers and sisters in the congregation. And uh, it, it's important that all of us show this type of love. Uh, because in the end, it's what we have, right? It's what we need. So that's about it for today. Tuesday, March 17th. Just uh, be prepared. Be prepared as much as possible. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say. You guys take care. Sending our love and greetings wherever you are in the world. Hope to see you soon.